Following a developing story this morning, a subway stabbing on the Upper West Side. It happened on the one train. CBS's John Diaz is live outside the 70 Street, 72nd Street station. And John, please say the victim's friend fought back. Good morning, both of you. Yeah, well, information is still coming in slowly about this subway attack, this stabbing. But what we can tell you is, as you mentioned, this victim's friend, uh, what we have just learned, is a female. She fought this attacker off by using pepper spray. Go ahead now, though, and take a look here at this video. This video was uh, taken shortly after this stabbing happened, which please tell us happened around 11 o'clock last night. They tell us that three people were riding on a number one subway train northbound when two of them got into a fight. That Led to one of them pulling out a sharp object, using it to stab a 26 year old man in the leg and finger. And as I mentioned, that victim's friend, a woman, then used pepper spray to fight off the attacker who ran away once the subway reached the 72nd Street stop and is still on the loose. Meanwhile, the victim, a 26 year old man, he is okay. He's recovering in the hospital as we speak. Now, this is a relatively safe subway stop. It has an express train, so it's usually quite busy, even during the overnight hours. Hours. It's unclear where exactly the suspect and the victim uh, were heading to when this happened, but what is clear is that other subway riders are on edge. It doesn't matter what train ride you're on, what, where you're trying to go, this is becoming a constant thing for everybody. You never know what somebody's thinking in that in the train station. Like you never know what's on somebody's mental, and like it's very nerve-wracking to be with you know in a cart for the strangers, never knowing what's about to pop off. Now, while certain crimes citywide, like shooting incidents, are down compared to this time last year, transit crime, it is up around 41%, with about 530 more cases, according to the NYPD's latest data. Now, the city has been working for about a month now on installing video cameras on every single subway car, part of this new safety initiative. But it's still unclear, though, if that one of those video surveillance cameras were installed on this particular subway car. Again, the suspect is still on the loose. We're live this morning from the Upper West Side. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thank you.